Our ODS technology is made up of two layers of EPS interconnected with isolation dampeners and it's designed to compress and shear omnidirectionally within its environment to provide improved protection for the athlete. This ability to displace and compress reduces the transfer of angular acceleration energy and also low threshold energy to the brain or the head in the event of an accident. So we accomplish this by separating the helmet into two layers. We have an outer layer of EPS that is mated to the shell and we have an inner layer of EPS that is up against the wearer's head. In the event of a crash impact, those two layers have the ability to compress and come together. They can shear omnidirectionally within themselves, reducing angular acceleration. And that low energy performance comes from the ability of the suspension on lower Im impacts. By having suspension system in the helmet, the helmet is active at a much lower energy demand than a traditional helmet design. So with that, the two liners are, can float and compress and shear within themselves. And if the energy is high enough, the two layers come together, the EPS takes over, and basically we have everything there necessary to manage high energy strikes as well. This little isolation damper is the heart and soul, basically, of our technology. There's an array of 27 of these in the ATR1, and they have the ability to compress linearly and also shear, allowing the management of energy transfer in the event of an accident. Another significant benefit of our ODS technology is simply time. By allowing the inner liner to travel within itself, we add time into the impact event equation. If you take any given impact and stretch it over more time, you're basically going to reduce the severity of that impact. That's what our ODS technology does within the helmet in the event of an impact. There is simply no other helmet design that can provide these combined energy management benefits.